Hello guys, welcome to Cajun Homestead and Beekeeping. Today I'm going to get into some uh, queens, one of them that swarmed when she hatched out and I caught the swarm. The other one that I saw walking around the box um, one day while I was just in my garden and I put her back in the box. I don't know if she was mated, don't know if she's back in the box, but we're going to check, check that out today, see if she's in there. I'm going to check and see if we have a queen in that swarm that I caught. But first, I want to get into this box right here. Um, I want to give a shout out to my YouTube buddies, um, Bob at Walker Bee Ranch and Lee at Kodiak Farm Bees. Um, he did a drawing, uh, Lee did a drawing uh, about a week or so ago for his YouTube subscribers and I won something that Bob donated to the drawing. And uh, I want to show you guys. Never used these before, but I'm enjoy going to enjoy trying them out. Look at here. Great frame. Great frames got a lot of wax on them smells great i got some deep frames that he sent me and i mostly do eight frame boxes and he sent me eight uh, frames for a super i've never even seen these white ones before but i want to thank you bob thank you lee and uh, uh for the great gift and we're going to get into those bees. Thank you. Okay, guys. This one right here is the little box that I had one swarm cell in. I checked her one day last week, and she was starting to chew out. And the next day, I think it was the next day. might have been the next day after. I was in my garden over here planting these squash and I saw a swarm coming out of this box and they were just pouring out of there and they shot over here into this tree up here so just had one of my hives swarm they were up in the tree up there and I put some swarm command there on these boxes and they seem like they were are you looking at it I'm gonna see if I can see the queen This is pretty awesome. First time I've ever been home to catch one swarm and I usually just come back and they're gone. Hopefully I can get her to go in the box. I think she's a Mark Queen. Unless it's one of the virgin queens that swarmed. Okay, let me go try to look for her. So, they hadn't landed. So I went and get some swarm commander and these um, swarm traps right here. Or this, this brown swarm trap. Set it on this tree. And they start, I uh, sprayed a little swarm commander and they all started going in. So we need to jump. Okay, I cracked the top. And they seem to have a few of them going on the inside. Still no queen. I think it's most probably a virgin queen. And she's going to be hard to spot. Mm -hmm. 
So we need to check it. See what's going on in there. See if the actual queen came back and got mated or if they started making sales or something. Now what I did do, since that was the only swarm cell in this box that I knew of, I went ahead and added a frame of eggs. So we're going to check both these boxes out and see what's going on inside. All right, let's get started. All right, let's see what's going on in this box. There weren't very many bees left in here after they swarmed, so I added that frame of eggs. Looks like we're just working on this right here. We're just gonna scoop them over. I don't know. So you can put them on the ground. Only three frames in here. Okay. I think it's this center frame that had the eggs. Maybe not. Maybe wrong on that. Because this just looks like nectar. Full of nectar. Check this out. Let's find out. Okay, yes, they have. They've capped everything off. And they've made swarm cells, and they're all capped. Or they made emergency cells, not swarm cells. They're all capped. So that queen over there, if she's there, there was only one cell in the frame in this box. When she hatched, you would think she'd stay in the box. There was no other queen in the box. But she hatched out, dried off, took off out of this box. So... All this was just eggs, and they've... And it's been a week since I put this in here. So it looks like they've capped them off, made a couple of swarm cells on that side. I can't remember, there, yep, there was some eggs on this side. I don't look like they made any cells on this side. So definitely no queen. In this box. So, we'll just have to wait for this to hatch out and see if she gets mated. Okay, on to the next box, the swarm box. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's see what's going on in this box. I see some white wax. Oh, I forgot to check on the lid. Don't see anything on the lid, just a couple of bees. Now I didn't put any frames of eggs or anything in this box. They were just a swarm, so. Don't know if she's here, if she made it in the box, if she's even made it. Looks like they're building this out. Don't see any eggs on that frame. I 
remember all these bees came out that other box. Okay. Now that I'm seeing this, I remember I did put a frame of brood. Now I do see some eggs. Yep, I do see some eggs. So somewhere in here, there's a queen. Like I said, this this brood you're seeing right here, that comes from a another queen. I'm looking for her, but I don't see her. I do see eggs though. Take a look at this one right here. Looks like they got some nectar and pollen right here. Oh, and there's our queen. Newly mated queen. Let me show you guys. She's a kind of a dark queen. I already lost her. Let's see if I can find her. Okay, here she is. Yeah, she's quick. Find my thumb. Right there. She's like a tiger scrub queen. There she is, right there. Okay. And that's a swarm queen. See that big old tail that she's laying. Okay, so great. That's what I wanted to see. Found my queen. I was very lucky to see her swarming. Oh, my glove's getting stuck. There's a lot of bees in this box, so I'm gonna have to watch this pretty close. Although they still got some room to go. Okay guys, so we got a queen right here, got some new cells over there, looks like we might be successful.